need to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We're here at the Brentwood Centre. Lee Eaton, straight from Denmark to Brentwood. What's better, mate? What's happening? <laughs> we're real. We're, we're, we're at Denmark, Unified World Titles, Ring Magazines, and then we come straight to Brentwood for four or six rounders. That's how we roll. Who'd have thought that? A little old man from Grays. What do you mean old? I'm not from Grays either. Oh, no. Nah. No, no, we're near there. Stand for the Oak. Sorry, mate. Yeah, well, you better be. I was just going to get your mum to smack your ass. <laughs> okay, Dad. Um, go straight back to Denmark then. Big, big night. Probably the biggest night crowning moment of your career so far. Yeah, 100%. Um, yeah, this is it. was the biggest night of obviously my manager career and obviously for my fighter, Dina Forsland. Um, unbelievable performance. Uh, she won the WBO or retained the WBO, won WBC and won the first ever um, women's bantamweight ring magazine belt. Um, unbelievable achievement, history in Denmark, first person to win the ring magazine belt. And, and for myself, obviously, it's a massive achievement. Um, very, very happy, as you see in the ring last night. Um, over the moon, really over the moon. And hopefully we can get some big fights. She, she wants to take on all comers. Obviously, I've got another champion, world champion in, in that division, Nina Hughes, who was there last night on commentary and got in the ring after. Um, obviously, we're chasing a, a unification fight for her. And then, obviously, hopefully, you can do Nina versus Dina. Well, that unification fight is Ebony Bridges. Yeah. Do you think that can be made? I spoke to Ebony probably two weeks ago, and it didn't sound like she was wanted that fight imminently, but can it be done? Well, listen, I hope so. Ebony's going to have a voluntary, but obviously Ebony, oh, from October the 10th, is going to get called to have uh, a mandatory challenger, which is Seren Sertin from Turkey, who I advise. Um, so I'm, I'm working with um, Seren at the minute with a promoter, Cedar, um, and we will be pursuing that to, to push that mandatory. So obviously there will be two options once she's had her voluntary, to either have the mandatory or fight. Uh, the only thing that oversees a mandatory is unification fight. Um, so obviously that can be, that, that, that's, we want it to be Nina. So that's the plan, but obviously let's see what happens. Obviously, Evan, Evan has got her own plan of what she wants to do. Obviously, she, she might not want to fight Nina. Because um, in my eyes, I believe Nina wins that fight. But listen, one, one thing with Ebony, she's, she's done great for her career and you've got to respect her of what she's done, her self-promotion and everything like that. I've not, got, I've not got a bad word to say about her. Um, I, think, I think she's good for the sport and stuff like that, but I believe if you're a world champion, you should be wanting to unify. So we're there ready to unify. Um, let's see what happens. Where does Nina stand with mandatories? Because we know she won that title last year and she had a voluntary, so is she going to be ordered soon? Excuse me, can we be quiet please? Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, um, Nina's been called to have a, um, a mandatory against Jamie Mitchell. I'm um, not sure what conversations Eddie's had regarding that, um, but I don't know if Jamie Mitchell will want to take that fight. But obviously, listen, we still want the Shannon Courtney fight. Mm. Shannon Courtney's there. Obviously, she's with her new trainer. She's got a new management team and that. I spoke with her management team. And that's the fight we want. So if Matthew want to make that fight, we'd love that fight. Um, but if not, Jamie Mitchell, it is what it is. We, we, Nina will fight anyone. She, she just wants to fight. So let's see what uh, comes over the next week or so. Big, big kind of... How are you? How are you? Sweating. We're sweating. We're sweating. Well, you know. But big news for O'Hara Davis about three weeks back. Golden Boy got over the line. What is the news with him? We don't really know what's going on with Roly Romero. We've waited a hell of a long time for that. Is there going to be any clarity with O'Hara Davis in the near future? Yeah, there is. There's been very big talks this week. Obviously, Roly Romero is, is injured. 
Um, he's confirmed that with uh, medical reports. Um, so we're waiting on the WBA to rule. Um, obviously, we've been speaking with Golden Boy every night. Me and Eric Gomez have been going backwards and forwards and that. And there's some big, big plans. I'm um, really looking forward to hopefully getting something over the line this week and announcing within the next 7 to 14 days. Um, Ahara is 100% fighting for the, for the world title next. Um, if that's against Kenneth Sims, if it's against Ishmael Barroso, is it against Ro Ryan Garcia? Uh, who knows? But we 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 won the biggest fights possible, and obviously the biggest money fights there. Yeah, so um, whatever whatever it may be, um, we're, we're looking forward to Golden Boy doing their job as promoters and, and getting it over the line for us. Is this fight definitely happening this year? Yes, Ahara will fight by the end of the year, one hundred percent. Where he has signed this deal with Golden Boy, is this him kind of exclusively fighting in the US now, or can we see a deal being struck? Um, who knows? Who knows? Obviously, listen, if he goes and wins the world title and then there's a big offer from someone from Match Rooms, like Jack Catterall or something like that, that makes sense in the UK. So, let's see. It doesn't really matter where, where at the minute. The main thing is getting him that fight. He deserves that fight. He's in that mandatory position. Um, we, this has been going on since May now, backwards and forwards. Rodeo Romero and PBC have been longing us out, messing us around and stuff like that. The WBA have been, have been very straightforward with me. Um, I think they're sick of me because I email them every single day and I'm texting Gilberto Mendoza every single day. Um, but yeah, listen, I've been promised that within the next seven days we'll have a re resolution. I know this is going to be hard to do because you've got so many fighters, but just a little rundown, what can we expect from Let's Go Management in the next month, two months? Well, obviously Tom Wellen's debut will be announced in the next seven to uh, ten days. He'll be fighting on a big card on Channel 5 with Wasserman Boxing. Layli Butterjee's just signed with a major promoter. That'll be announced next week. Um, obviously there's plenty of other things happening. Gavin Gwynn will have fight news soon. Obviously the European title got moved from that date. Um, so we're just looking at a few things there. There's a few talks happening at the minute. Um, Thomas Asomba's fighting for the European title. Um, yeah, there's plenty of stuff. Obviously Jay Harris, uh, we, we've, we've spoken to Matchroom and said that we quite fan we, we fancied the uh, Galau Yafai fight. Obviously if Galau fights before the, the, the Sonny Edwards card then obviously we'd love that fight but if it don't then we might fight Conor Butler for the European or something like that so there's plenty of options there obviously I've got so many I've got a load of fighters obviously it's hard to say obviously Segali Labus defending her world title gotta make it right. um, plenty of other fights uh, Kez Ashfaq will be having a rematch with Liam Dillon for the British title um, yeah there's loads there's loads happening in the um, Let's Go Management team you should not be first do we do enough? Well, I, I never shot up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 